One, two, hey, what's up guys, jeans and things in the house. So, uh, <clears throat> yesterday uh, was a shitty snack session. <clears throat> I have uh, four snack sessions a week. Uh, the most that I can snatch in a single is 125 pounds. And so yesterday I tried to do uh, 135. Uh, so what I usually do is I warm up, I do the sots press so I can try to find some uh, kind of shoulder mobility in there. And then I'll just go you know, 75, 85, 95, etc. And then so uh, I pretty much just uh, missed 135 for four different times. And uh, I just felt really dumb afterwards. Uh, but I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to do it. Uh, but I can't be getting in the habit of doing that. Because like I said, I do the snatch uh, four days a week. And even if I only use one day uh, to uh, try to hit some max, then it's like I'm pretty much wasting, not you know, wasting 25% of all of my snatching volume. Uh, what I, what how I do the snatch is pretty much uh, just very basic, simple. I just uh, warm up. I do the salts press, and then I'll tell myself I have 10 or 11 uh, singles that I can do in the snatch, and that's what I do. And my training max is 115, even though I can do 125. <clears throat> when I start uh, being in the 120 or to 125 range, I start missing. And uh, But 115, I'm not necessarily missing. It feels difficult, but a little difficult. But once it feels super easy and everything just falls into place, then I'll go to 120 and then I'll just keep uh, going from there. And maybe once every two months or once every three months i try to like hit some uh crazy number like 135 or something but maybe by then i'll be doing 135 for uh training max singles and stuff right um i should just think back when uh doing 95 pounds was uh super difficult for me and now i can just fucking uh you know put that through the roof and shit you know so you know, just be grateful for that and be grateful that I don't have uh, crazy lower back pumps anymore and that I can even uh, do the movement and stuff. But, <clears throat> you know, my little ego is uh, being really gay because, you know, you see that 45 pound plate on that bar and you're like, oh, wow, I'm snatching the 45 pound plate. And for some reason, that's more special uh, than doing a 25 pound plate and a 10 pound plate. Uh, plate and a five pound plate you know it's just it's just stupid uh monkey brain thinking and i just i just like the snatch i i don't see myself uh doing anything else uh you know because i started thinking like what if i didn't do the snatch if i didn't do the snatch then yeah i could probably uh focus on the upper body a little better but you know that's gay like who wants big muscles not me, ew, big muscles, that's dumb, I'm kidding of course, but, um, I don't know, I just feel like, um, I just feel like I'd rather be, uh, <clears throat> learning and being a novice in dog shit at a crazy movement, uh, than be, uh, that a lot of people don't do, than just be, uh, less than mediocre, less than average at uh, upper body bodybuilding, you know. Uh, so that's why I like to snatch and clean. It's like, okay, fine, you know, like, I mean, because, you know, somebody can go bench press. Like, I'll go bench press, like, 185 for some reps, and then somebody else can come in and then without training or anything and do 185 for a few reps depending on how much they weigh and stuff I go out and snatch 115 pounds they can't snatch the bar so that's why I like it you know I'm just I'm just really you know weak and mediocre and everything but um, at the very least like I have the uh, will uh, to learn and I just feel like oh, that's what's really missing and lifting is that will to learn because you know they just like no I just want to go get jacked it's like oh I don't feel sore I don't feel a pump I don't whatever like it's it's like it's like instant gratification bullshit you know and it's like well that really sucks that you think that you know they they're thinking in instances because it's like 
yeah, building any muscle, building any actual kind of strength is just going to take a while and going to take some know-how and, and just, uh, just feeling like dog shit for a while and just like, you know, you're just not good enough or whatever. Uh, but whatever, I mean, yeah, that's just a quick update. But everything else is going up. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about the back squat. I feel like I need an alternate movement because, like I said, so I do the squat twice a week, day A, day B. Day A is front squat, day B is back squat. And I don't know how I feel about the back squat these days. <clears throat> I did, I'm trying to find out my 10 rep max. And I did uh, 165 for 10. And but my back got my back feels a little sore, and my back never feels sore when I front squat, you know. So I guess I need to find some kind of like alternate movement or something, or maybe my back will get adjusted uh, to this kind of movement. Maybe my back needs uh, this kind of stimulus that the uh, back squat provides. So I don't know yet because I don't know any other alternates, <clears throat> you know, that'll actually accumulate strength. You know, like there's overhead squat, but it's like pff, whatever. Uh, I could front squat with. Uh, uh, the weightlifting shoes on maybe that's like an alternate maybe my alternate can be uh, squatting with weightlifting shoes and have my toes pointed more forward maybe that could be an alternate but eh, who am I kidding you know so uh, so I don't know and I really want to uh, put in uh, pin squats once I uh, find out my 10 rep max and shit you know so that those will be fun so uh, yeah um, you know Again, you know, just glad not to have any more lower back pumps, and hopefully I don't, I don't get injured again for a few years or something. So, yeah, thanks for watching, whatever.